Now we will composite all the elements in After Effects which we have rendered in 3ds Max. Chunks, smoke trails and we have some stock elements from Video Copilot also which we'll use while making the complete scene. So let's start and uh, first of all make a new comp. This is the boat image sequence which I bring into the composition and the first thing I have to do is track the footage. So click on track motion and uh, place the tracker to the contrast point. Let's analyze whether the tracking point goes with the boat or not. It will take a couple of seconds. I think it goes quite well. So I take a null layer and apply the tracking data to this null layer. Okay. Now rename this null layer as uh, tracking data. Okay. Now let's bring this explosion stock footage in the scene. This explosion footage comes from Video Copilot's Action Essential Pack. So put this explosion somewhere here and simply link it to the tracking data. Now the explosion goes with the boat but there are some issues here. It seems the explosion happens on the ground. So we'll have to fix it. So take a solid layer and first of all link it to the tracking data tool. And now let's make a mask around the problematic area. Once done, then apply the roughen edges effect onto this black solid layer. And what it does, it makes the edges rough. It makes the edges irregular. So it's good for it. Now select the explosion layer and uh, in track matte option, select the alpha inverted matte option. So what it does, it inverts the alpha mat and uh, eliminate the black solid part. Now make sure that once it is over, this black solid effect must gone. So, not here, but uh, somewhere here. Turn the auto key button on and just one frame before, make it 100%. So it will look something like this. Now it looks quite good. Select both the layers and adjust them a bit. Now it looks pretty good. Once done, select the explosion layer, right click and go to blending mode and make it screen. It looks fine. It looks fine here, but later it's not looking good because uh, it's vanishing with the transparency. So we have to use some other elements uh, with the explosion. So let's bring uh, this dark smoke stock footage in the scene. Put this smoke here. Scale it down. Connect it to the tracking data so that it should follow the boat. 
Now the dark smoke speed looks slow. So it should start from here when the explosion reaches till this point. Again you will see some problem here. So make a mask around this part and um, Invert the mask, apply some feather, and now it looks like this. Keep it here, do some adjustments. It looks better now. Now let's work on the upper part. For this, make another copy of the dark smoke. And uh, when the explosion reaches till this point, put the dark smoke here. Make it a bit bigger so that it could cover some area. Now it looks quite better. But in the starting, smokes start quite early. So do one thing, um, trim these two layers till this point. Okay, it's fine. Now we can do one more thing. We can uh, flip the upper smoke layer so that uh, it could look random and different. Just for a little variation. For now it looks fine. There are lots of possibilities to make it look better. Now let's add some more elements in the scene like this fire. Scale it down and uh, put it here on the board's deck. Go to blending mode and make it a screen. Maybe add. Connect it to the tracking data layer so that it could go with the boat. But this fire should appear after the bang of explosion, not in the very beginning. So we'll have to wait till here. So open its opacity property. Put a keyframe here with 100% and uh, just before a couple of frames make it zero. Now it looks quite good. Once done, we will add some more elements in the scene like uh, chunks layer. Place it uh, maybe behind the explosion. It looks quite good. It looks quite good. Uh, maybe you can put it down a bit and uh, trim this layer from the beginning so that it should start from this point. Beginning of the chunks will hide behind the explosion layer. So now it will look something like this. It looks pretty good. Adjust the timing a little bit so that it could look much better. Now let's add 
the smoke trails layer. Put it behind the explosion. It looks like this. Change its blending mode to add so that it should now look clear. Make another copy of the smoke trails. Decrease its opacity by 56%. Since these smoke trails start from very beginning, so select both the layers and slide them a bit forward in the timeline. These should start from this point. Fine. It looks quite well. Now let's make some secondary things like uh, reflection on the water. So for that, I'll take a solid layer with a color. Uh, something like this, some orange color. And first of all, I'll put this layer above the boat layer. And shut it off for a while. And link it to the tracking data also. Now I'll make a quick mask with the paint tool around the boat. So this will look something like this. I'll make another mask around the boat. Now there are two masks here. So subtract the mask too. and give some feather and featherize the edges of mask one also something like this and uh, now right click on the orange layer go to blending mode and apply classic color burn or maybe classic color dodge would be better it's fine but it looks quite exposed so go to solid layer settings and let's try to change the shade of the color. This color looks quite good. Now we have to get the water reflected when the blast happens. So we'll play with the opacity property of the reflection layer. And at this point of time, make it zero. And when the explosion happens, maybe at the peak point of burning, make it 100% or 90 and uh, after some frames, when the explosion intensity goes down, I make it 10 or maybe 20. So this goes like this. Now let's work on some more things like uh, the reflection of the fire or the water. So with the fire layer selected, press Ctrl D to duplicate the layer and flip it down. Now go to Transition and Linear Wipe and uh, make it something like this. Give some feather. Down the opacity a bit. We 
We can also apply a blending mode like uh, we did with the reflection layer. Also we can uh, apply a Gaussian blur to this layer. So this makes sense. And we can do lots of other things also like uh, we can add the reflection of the dark smoke also. So it all depends upon you how many elements you put in your scene to make it look better. There are numerous ways to work on such scenes. So this is just kind of introduction. We can show the boat more destructed. We can use some more 3D elements. All this is up to you guys. So keep practicing and make the things look better. So I hope you must have enjoyed this tutorial. Let's meet in my next tutorial. Till then, this is Chandan Kumar from India for CG Tweets Plus exclusively. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.